Kita bosa saya si Kwanu kwa beti saya si Kitafu ya bosa saya si Kuzi na pita tuzi na omega tuzi na alfa saya si The Science Foundation College in Namavu kwe jinja Ngo ingira kilomite mm. So minuli ya dene boarding Ili haba wala naba lenzi Kuolevo tusomisa arts ni sciences Ate erevo tusomisa sciences zoka Omwana mretu ku The Science Foundation College Fetu singo kusomisa sciences Okumanya visinga o Waku 0 musambu 5 satu Chinana Abili musambu 0 muenda The Science Foundation College Best on sciences And best for sciences is a teacher at the Science Foundation College, the best school that teaches sciences. At A level, we teach sciences only. At O level, we teach arts and sciences. Today, we are going to study immiscible liquids and steam distillation. The upper pressure for a mixture of immiscible liquids A and B is given by Evaporation of the mixture is equal to evaporation of A plus evaporation of pure B. A and B will evaporate as if the other component is not there. It will evaporate as if B is not there. B will evaporate as if A is not there. So the total of evaporation will be the sum of the evaporation of pure A plus the evaporation of pure B. It implies that the evaporation of the mixture is always higher than the evaporation of A or B. And consequently, the boiling point of the mixture is always lower than the boiling point of either A or B. When you look at the composition, composition of the vapor from PV is equal to M over MR R T. We can see that P not A times the volume of the mixture will be equal to mass of mass of A over molecular mass of A times R T. Then P not B times V, the, the volume, the H pi is the same, will be equal to M B over M R B times R T, dividing either sides, then this one will go, R T will go, then you can see that P not a over P not B will be equal to M A times M R B over M B times M R A. Making M A over M B the subject, you can now see that M A over M B will be equal to P not A times M R A over P not B times M R R B. For 100 grams of the distillate, for a hundred grams of this late percentage of A over percentage over percentage of B will be equal to P not A times M R A over P not B times M R B. The equation can be 
used to determine determine the <coughs> molecular mass of a solute a solvent steam distillation this is the technique of separating a volatile immiscible substance from non-volatile substances using steam. The apparatus steam is bubbled through the mixture, both the component and the steam will vaporize and cooled into a distillate. Since this, the component is immiscible in water, it will form a layer over water or under water. This distillate can be separated by, by a separating fan. The principle of steam distillation, to rephrase this one, a substance to be separated should be volatile to separate from non-volatile substance as vapor and also to be collected in vapor. It must be immiscible in water to be separated by separating funnel from the distillate. Fili must be mixed with non-volatile impurities such that when it vaporizes, the non-volatile impurities remain. Composition of the vapor and the steam distillation is that percentage of component A over percentage of component B. Vapor pressure of A times the molecular mass of A over vapor pressure of B times the molecular mass of B. Advantages of steam distillation with sensitive substances are separated at lower temperature. This is the major advantage. As advantages, it uses less energy since distillation is carried out at lower temperature. It can be used to determine the molecular mass of a substance using this equation. The disadvantage, it is not a complete separation method since we have to use a separating funnel to separate the component from the distillate. Back to example one. At 760 millimeters HG, steam distillation of a certain liquid A of molecular mass 45 takes place at 96 degrees as expected. The boiling point of the mixture is lower than the boiling point of either component. So it's lower than the boiling point of water. If the upper place of water at the same temperature is 658 millimeter Hg, capture the composition of the distillate by mass. Since A and water are immiscible, the total vapor pressure of the mixture, which is 760, at which the distillation was, was carried out, is the sum of the vapor pressure of A plus the vapor pressure of water. It implies that the vapor pressure of water is 102. If the percentage of A is X, the total percentage is 100, the percentage of water will be 100 minus X. From percentage of A over percentage of B is equal to vapor pressure of A times the, much, times the molecular mass of A over vapor pressure of B times the molecular mass of B. When we substitute, then the percentage of A in the vapor will be 27.9 percent. Example two, when a compound Y was steam distilled at standard pressure, the distillation temperature was 86 degrees Celsius. The evaporation of water is 740. The distillate contained 85% by mass water. The evaporation of the mixture 
is equal to vapor pressure of Y plus vapor pressure of water. The standard pressure is 760, is equal to vapor pressure of Y plus vapor pressure of water. Then the vapor pressure of Y is 20. Then the percentage of Y is equal to 100 minus percentage of water, which is equal to 100 minus 85, which is equal to, to 15. Then percentage of Y over percentage of water is equal to P naught Y times MR Y over P naught water times R times MR water the rough of 15 is equal to 20 times MR Y over 85 over 740 times the formula mass of water which is 18 then MR Y will be equal to 118. Example 3. The vapor pressure of water and immiscible liquid X at different temperatures are given below. A. Determine the vapor pressure of the mixture of X and water at the same temperature. We saw that P total is equal to P water plus P X, so we add. This one is 80, this is 88, this is 100, this is one nine, 109, this is 118. Then on the same axis, plot the vapor pressure of X, water, and the mixture. And our graph is going to look like this. The pressure of the mixture, the pressure of water, the pressure of X. The distance obtained at 100 and 1 kilopascals, 101 kilopascals, contained 1.6 grams of water, 1.1 gram of X. Calculate the atomic molecular mass of X. So we go to 101, we go to where it touches the curve of P total, then we draw a vertical axis. This will be the boiling point of mixture. Then the vapor pressure of water will be here, P water, and then the vapor pressure of X will be here, P naught X. Then when you are calculating the molecular mass of X, we shall say that M A M X over M over M water is equal to P naught X times M R X over P naught water times M R water. The mass of X is one. Point one, the mass of water is 1.6 will be equal to when you do the graph on the scale P naught water will be at a 6 P naught X will be 15 so it will be equal to 15 times MR X over P naught water which will be 86 times MR what 18 which is X then M R X will be equal to 71